Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and thanks so much for watching. Today I am sharing last minute Valentine's Day gift ideas. I am very open. This is my least favorite holiday of them all, probably apart from St. Patrick's Day, just because it seems very cheesy to me. It's like a Hallmark holiday where people just kind of want you to spend money um, on unnecessary things. So I'm going to be sharing practical gifts for you guys in this video. Everything that I'm talking about is going to be linked in the description bar below and let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So honestly, I think Valentine's Day is just a holiday that people just want to know that their partner cares about them. I've never celebrated it because prior to meeting my husband, I called it Singles Awareness Day. And then it was like as soon as I met him, we actually, our dating anniversary was the end of February. So we never celebrated Valentine's Day because our anniversary was like way more special to us. And then when we got married, we were just like, this isn't, this isn't really something we love. So now we do it, but it's a little bit scaled back. Please do not discredit. Just like candy, something small, something thoughtful. Flowers, they don't have to be expensive. I have found in my experience, if you know how to take care of the flowers, um, it, you definitely can make grocery store flowers look so beautiful. Um, there are tons of tutorials on TikTok on how to make like the most simple bouquets yourself. Um, and again, like candy, I got my husband a little like heart pack of Sour Patch Kids. Those are like his favorite, just like sweet candy. You can find them. I think I got them at Aldi Dirt cheap and he's gonna love them just because they're his favorite candy so really don't discredit those kind of things just something that shows that you care also target has a ton of really great um, cards I find that like smaller grocery stores don't have as many options whereas if you go to target like literally the outside section is all cards that are for Valentine's Day and you can get very specific cards cards for family members cards for your spouse um, I got Sam one that said it was something about like being a great father and so it was like happy Valentine's Day you know I just as a parent um, it's always sweet to hear that you're like doing great as a father or a mother so I got him one it's like happy Valentine's Day you know I'm not sure I tell you enough or something but you're a great father so they have so many different card options at Target and they're really affordable really cheap too also something you can get delivered is crumble cookies so I, I, I mean again that's just such a simple gift I mean, who does not freaking love crumble cookies? I believe you can get them delivered from crumble. Um, if you have one near you, they're delicious. So definitely take advantage of something like that or even like fruit delivery services. I can't think of what they're called, um, but you know, they have those like bouquet of fruit versus like roses or something. Do not discredit those, especially the crumble cookies. I would be very happy with those for Valentine's Day gifts. But now into the actual physical gifts. So I'm gonna start with kind of the gifts you can give for both men and women. I don't think this is going to be a shock to anybody, but I'm not just going to link a Stanley because I know we're probably all overhearing about them at this point. Now I love my Stanley, but I have actually seen a like dupe going around for this cup and people are swearing that it is actually just as good, if not better, because the lid does not leak. Um, I think it comes in even more colors and it's a little bit cheaper. I personally have not purchased it because I think if I buy any more cups, my husband might disown me. I think he might his eye might twitch, like he's gonna lose it. So while I do love Stanley water cups, I will link a more affordable option for you guys. And then another great option, just something simple is brewmates. Y'all know that anytime I get the chance to talk about a brewmate, I'm going to, you could give just this, you could give this with a gift card inside of it. Um, I saw someone the other day, she actually had a full brewmate on her white sheets. She held it over her brand new white clean sheets and you could hear the liquid like sloshing around in there and she was like shaking it over her white sheet. She threw it on her bed, she picked it up. I mean, just shook it and the lid does not bust at all and nothing leaked. So that is why I love these double locking mechanism lids. Anything from roommate you really can't go wrong with, but I mean, travel mugs are just a necessity. Sam actually takes two travel mugs of coffee every single day to work because he says our coffee's better than the work coffee. Um, so he uses two of these every day and both of them are the brewmate brand. So those are both great um, like unisex gifts. You could also do, I see a lot of like couples games and stuff, which I don't discredit couples games. We actually are going tonight to do a um, game night with our friends, like all of our married friends. I think they're really fun. I just think that is something that's a little bit more specific. It has to be that you're like into games. Um, so I'll link a few of them for you guys from Amazon below but they have a lot of really good ones some of them are meant to be played in a group setting and some of them are more personal and things that you would just want to play with your spouse but regardless a cute little game I mean you can't go wrong with now gifts for her I have to say Kendra Scott jewelry is hands down one of my favorite jewelry brands I've been very open about that for a long time I've got her earrings on now um, I've got some bracelets on this arm I've 
actually don't have any rings on, which is shocking, but Kendra Scott's one of my favorite brands, and you can actually buy her stuff directly through Amazon, and it is from Kendra Scott, so don't worry about it being, you know, like a fake or something. You're gonna still get that really good quality of Kendra Scott jewelry. Um, you are still probably in the timeline of being able to buy through Kendra Scott's website, but you may have to pay for faster shipping. Um, if you do want to buy through the website, you can go to my like to know it and just type in Kendra Scott and literally it will pull up every single bit of Kendra Scott jewelry that I have, which is excessive. But Amazon, you're going to be able to get it on Prime, and those are her more staple pieces. She doesn't sell everything through Amazon, but a good pair of earrings, a necklace, um, she has rings on there. Just so many good like staple pieces if you are more into getting jewelry for someone. Now, something else you can do is a fitness gift. Never discredit fitness gifts. Um, I know that like Apple Watches can definitely be a little bit higher priced because you are going to most likely sign up for a monthly payment unless you buy it outright which that is a very expensive gift, but you could do Apple Watches or you could do Fitbits or something. I'm finding that so many more people, and I love it, are waking up and like, to just knowing how good a walk is for you. Just like going outside or even just getting on a treadmill if it is too cold or the weather's not nice and just getting 10,000 steps a day, it is so good for you. Like mentally, whenever I get my 10,000 steps, I can just tell I feel better. Um, so Fitbit tracker, anything like that is gonna be a great gift. You could get that for men and women, but I do find that more often than not, at least for in my experience, women are the ones who are more open to like the 10,000 steps a day because my husband's like, I get the steps that I get, and that's that. You could also do beauty gifts. Now, this is one unopened one. I bought three of them because I had heard so many good things about the Self Tanner brand. I get the color medium to deep, and I only have to leave it on for an hour, and it makes my skin look so tan so quick, which I really love. Um, so self tanner is always great, especially this time of year, because I feel like we're definitely getting into more spring weather, depending on where you live. Um, I live in South Carolina, so we actually are experiencing it kind of already. Um, just depends on the day. And you know, we're not really doing tanning beds anymore. We're not really laying out as much. We are doing self tanner at home. So um, I have really been loving this one. It is just very, very quick. If you want a clean skincare brand um, or a clean self tanner brand, I will link that in the description bar below for you guys. But that one is gradual. You're gonna have to leave it on for about eight hours. This one's a foam. You can leave it on for one to three hours. And I have never loved um, how quickly I have noticed a self tanner set in and look really good and even on my skin right now. Probably should have done it for this video. I am desperately in need of a self tan at the current moment, but I wait until the weekends to do it. So I love this self tanner and trust me, your girl probably does too if you're buying something for her. Like self tanner is just great because like if you can't tone it, tan it. That's always been a rule to live by and I am like 13 weeks pregnant. So right now we can't tone a lot of things. So we tan a lot of things. <laughs> and then a couple other skincare favorites of mine. You guys know I have talked about Dime Skincare for a long time and I always have to correct people. I always make sure I say it. People say, oh, it's one of the best clean skincare brands out there. And I'm like, nope, it's one of the best skincare brands out there in my opinion. They just happen to be clean as well. And I do always have to say this because I get the question simultaneously. Just because something is pregnancy safe does not mean that it is clean just because something is clean does not mean it is pregnancy safe those two are not interchangeable terms um, if that is something that is important to you definitely look it up check with your doctor always but um, dime is a clean brand and I will leave it at that um, because I do encourage you guys to do kind of your own research and just find out what's best for you but for me I really love dime and they came out with it's called the glaze hydrating body oil the timing could not have been more perfect they dropped this in January and I absolutely love it I have been using it every single day on my belly and I encourage everyone pregnant or not to use body oil it is like so hydrating for you so good for your skin um, no matter what age no matter what your skin condition is after you get out of the shower within like five minutes your skin may still be a little damp but it doesn't need to be wet just put this all over and your skin will so thank you you can use code Mariah R20 for 20% off um, I just absolutely love this oil. Again, the timing is just impeccable. I know so many pregnant people right now that are um, using Dime products that have that glaze oil as well and they all love it. But another good one, 
a small gift, something that is just so good. Again, we don't have to go big and bougie for Valentine's Day is the Dime Lip Balm. I use this every single day when I'm doing my makeup. What I'll do is I'll put on my moisturizer, my sunscreen, and then I will put on my lip balm, and then I'll do my hair, let all that kind of seep into my skin, and then I'll do my makeup last. This is so hydrating. It actually contains, so hold on, what is the key? Shea butter and meadow foam seed oil that make it super, super hydrating. Um, and it also is going to repair your lips over time. The longer you use it, it's going to really help those like fine lines within your lips. So I do love this. And again, you can use Mariah R20 for 20% off. Men's gifts. Listen, this is where I really get frustrated with Valentine's Day because if you look up men's Valentine's gifts, they're all cheesy. And women's stuff is like super sentimental and like jewelry. And then if you look up like men's gifts, you get like underwear with your face on them or like a candle that says light when you want a BJ. Like it's just so cheesy to me and I'm just like, why? So you can definitely get your man a gag gift. I think they're funny and I think that might be just cause men don't take it a little bit like serious. At least I've never met a guy that's like super serious about their Valentine's day gifts. I just would feel really weird if like Sam got me a really nice piece of jewelry and I gave him like boxers with my face on it or a candle that said light when you want a BJ. It's just, it's silly, but you can definitely get those if you're more into them. Something that actually I really do recommend are these shoes by the brand Hey Dude. My brother-in-law asked for them maybe two Christmases ago and we got them for him and within like two months, all the rest of my brothers-in-law and my father-in-law all had these shoes and they were like, no, these are incredible. I've even heard my mom say that she knows women who have bought the Hey Dude shoes. They're apparently really, really comfortable. I personally have never tried them, um, but as Sam kind of described them, they're like the newer version of kind of like a Sperry as far as how much you see them for guys. Um, so all my brothers-in-law absolutely love theirs. They say they're really comfy. I think my sister, she has really wide feet, so I think she has a pair of these. Um, so you can't go wrong with a pair of Hey Dudes because every single person that I know that has gotten them has like sung their praises completely so those are a great gift if you do want something that's a little bit more serious but for a guy you could also do something like that they're gonna use frequently a lunchbox or a wallet like just practical gifts and then this one because I always swear please don't knock it until you've tried it this it's got animal hair all over it but we keep this in um, next to all of our workout equipment and I feel like this is just one of those gifts where you look at it and you're like that's a gadget until you have one we use this all the time it's a massage gun you guys they are like the best gifts you can give everybody and i'm actually going to tell you the most ridiculous thing here our dog even likes it like when we get out the massage gun whether sam's using it on his legs i'm using it on my arm whatever doug will always roll over and be like can you please like rub my belly with that so massage guns are universal you can even get your dog one they're a little expensive, but our dog absolutely loves it. So uh, they are definitely a gift I recommend. Just don't think it's a gadget. It's a gift that's practical that I'm telling you. Every single person I've given a massage gun to, they're like, how? How did I not live with this? Like, how did I not have this before? And I'm like, I don't know, but you're welcome. Okay, friends, that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it again. Just last minute gift ideas. Just please don't stress yourself out. I personally think flowers, candy, crumble cookies emphasis on the crumble cookies like they're such good just simple valentine's day gifts you don't have to spend a ton of money just let people know that you care a, a two dollar card from the grocery store i mean just a way to say i love you i recognize you that's all that really matters so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to go below click the subscribe button if you're new here love you so much and i will see you in my next video